Hello everyone. So with the release of the new rework talk, Slugger and Wolf got new changes. For Slugger, his M2s were a changed a bit, which makes Slugger's M2s charge up a lot longer than usual. I know most of you guys are so used to the old Slugger max charge timing, and because you are not used to the new Slugger timing, that is why you always keep getting hit by a max charge Slugger M2 now. In all honesty, there is no exact way to beat Slugger's M2 other than not getting hit by it in the first place. And depending on the style, that task can be done pretty easily. Which perfectly ties onto what my topic is for today's video. And that are matchups. I keep seeing people talking about how bad or how good a style is, just because they lost to it using a style that is pretty bad against that style to begin with. So in today's video I will be showing you guys every bad single bad matchup there is for every style in the game. Alright, let's start with the styles who rely on M1 damage. There are a lot of different types of styles that fall on this category, so let's talk about the styles that are pretty similar. The styles that fall on this category are these styles shown on the screen. For these styles, your only bad matchup are styles that can easily tank your hits and outspeed your M1s, styles that can easily heal all of that damage, or prevent you from landing M1s are your worst matchups. Corkscrew is a bad matchup against these styles due to its insane healing. And styles with fast M1s like Hands Low, Hitman, and Freedom can easily negate your attempts to be aggressive. Which makes snowballing or stacking up damage pretty hard to do. Now for bad matchups that are unique for the a specific type of styles. Let's start with the obvious ones. Hands Low, Shotgun and Hawk. Since all three of these styles take extra counter damage. Counter, Hands Low, Bullet, and Hawk or any other counter styles are their worst matchups. Next up are counter type styles. Styles that fall on this categories are the ones on screen. The worst matchup for these type of style is Corkscrew, Turtle and Iron Fist. Why exactly is this? Well it's pretty simple. Corkscrew can just outright heal the big chunks of health you can take with your M1 counters in seconds. And as for Turtle, counter type styles are known to have bad base damage. So it's hard for them to break or apply any kind of pressure against styles with a good block. And because they can't apply any kind of pressure, they won't be able to land any counters. And Turtle is known to have the best block in the game, while also being the only style that's best used when you are passive making it single-handedly every counter user's worst matchup. Turtle is also a pretty bad matchup if you are using Long Guard. And as for Iron Fist being a bad opponent for counter type styles, Iron barely takes any type of counter damage due to its passive. Just look at how much a bullet counter hit M2 does to Iron Fist. Now let's compare that damage to a normal bullet counter M2 damage. Next up are styles with a weak block. The styles that fit this category are the ones on screen right now. It's pretty easy to narrow down who their worst matchup is gonna be, because it's pretty obvious. Styles that can easily break their block bar are their weakness, so styles like Epo, Charge, Iron Fist and Corkscrew are their weakness. But for me, if I was using a style with a bad block, I would be afraid of Epo because of his insane M1 damage. Especially if I am using freedom, if Epo catches me it's practically over for my health bar. Let's move on to bad matchups that are specific for one style only. I will expand on this topic on later videos, but let's focus on some styles for now. As you noticed from the past statements I made, Corkscrew is a very troublesome style due to its healing, and because of its healing it's the worst matchup to fight against for most styles. But fear not, Corkscrew also has some bad matchups. Since Corkscrew's, Gimmick is about healing. Its worst matchups are styles that negate said healing pretty easily. So styles like Hawk, Slugger and Wolf are bad matchups against Corkscrew due to them having an easy access of true damage. For Slugger and Hawk, both of these styles have a unique gimmick about them. And it's that both Slugger and Hawk's M1s have anti-healing. And for Wolf, it's the only M2 reliant style, and M2s always take healing, rendering Corkscrew's healing useless. Now for the style I mentioned in the video, Slugger. Slugger's worst matchup is against styles that can easily get out of pressure while also being faster than Slugger himself. So styles who have good dashes, while also being able to attack Slugger safely. Styles with good dashes can pretty much avoid Slugger's M2s with ease because they could just backdash away if they feel like they did the dodge wrong. And because Slugger has a pretty bad block it's also pretty vulnerable to attacks. 
so I would say Slugger's worst matchup is Epo, because it has the good dashes to avoid getting hit by his M2s, a decent block to avoid his M1 damage stacking up, while also having speed that is slightly faster than Slugger, so he can usually outspeed him. And yeah, there is probably some more bad matchups for some styles. But I am gonna stop at this for now, there will be a part 2 for this series so keep an eye out for that. If you have information about any other bad matchups, feel free to comment them down below. I'll gladly cover it for the next video. Anyways, that's all from me. See you guys on the next one, peace.